So I was recently reading through um, or reading a portion of The Treasure of a Friend by John Maxwell. And in it, he told a story about a man named Ernest uh, Stockham, or Shackleton, excuse me, Ernest Shackleton. And Ernest Shackleton was a, uh, was a merchant in uh, the early 20th century, so about 1904, around that time. And so when he was younger, he, he was a merchant, and he traveled all around the world, saw all sorts of sights, uh, and, and, and developed this very adventurous spirit. So when he became a little older, he gathered a crew together and was the first to declare the Antarctic, the South Pole, as, as, as a destination. He was the first person in history to do that. So, once they were prepared, him and his crew got on a boat, left down to go to, to Antarctica. And they knew this was going to be a difficult trip. They knew it was going to be very taxing on them. Probably one of the more difficult things they've ever done in their entire life, but they w went anyway. And upon getting there, as they expected, the, the sub-zero temperatures were, were chilling to the bone. And so they set out, but what, what was expected to be a difficult trip turned out to be disastrous. And soon the, their, their bodies were, were fatigued and, and their food was running short. And when they were only 95 nautical miles from the South Pole, and again, compared to the whole world, like that's not that far, when they were 95 nautical miles from the South Pole, from their destination, they realized that they're either going to die or they need to turn back. So they decided to, to bite the bullet and turn around and go back. Well, on their way back to their ship, they realized that they might not even make it. They were carrying too much stuff. So in an effort to, to lighten their load, they, they threw out whatever they didn't need. So in some cases, this was money. Sometimes this was food. But what, what Shackleton noticed was that you could really tell a lot about a person by what they kept and by what they threw away. So again, some of his men threw away uh, the, the food that they really didn't have a lot of, but the things they kept would be a picture of their spouse or a letter from home, uh, maybe a picture of their whole family, something like that. Things that that Henry, or excuse me, that Ernest noticed probably meant the most to them. And eventually they, they all made it back and were able to make it home safely. But in my mind, this was making me think of the, the passage in Matthew 6, um, where Jesus says, where your treasure is, your heart will be also. And I, if I, you know, we're all going to be in difficult places sometimes, but if I was ever put in a situation like that, you know, I, I'd like to think that I would choose Christ, right? That I would choose in my heart, if I'm going to deny anything, it's never going to be Christ. But it, it really puts it in perspective, um, and it causes a lot of, or at least causes me to do a lot of some self-examination to see what really are the treasures in my heart. Now, not just what I profess, but what's really there. And I think for all of us, that should be Christ, who, who gave so much for us. So, those are just my thoughts. Until next time, see ya.